Hob is a puzzle platformer action RPG that feels reminiscent of both Zelda and Journey. It begins with a giant robot breaking you free of your tomb. What starts out as a short jaunt around the landscape following your robot pile around eventually leads to a plant infecting you with a fungus. In order to free you from certain death, the robot cuts off your arm and replacing it with one of his own, making you look like a miniature Hellboy. You also get a sword and a map directing you where to go. What's waiting for you? A heal for your arm or perhaps answers to why you were locked away. Either way, the story is vague at best with little interaction with any sort of characters other than your robo-pal. It's a more lonely journey, but one that's still fraught with danger and adventure. Your quest will take you through polluted plains, ruined towers, electrified grottos, and more, all in a lush, vibrant world stylized in cell shading. While beautiful, you and the creatures all have a clean, minimalistic design that works well. It's not as detailed as Wind Waker's cartoon aesthetic, but it's still charming. Music is also rather soft with just enough thrown in to give the game an exciting boost or a chilling ambiance. The game has an isometric perspective. You're going around solving puzzles, fighting enemies with your trusty blade or gargantuan fist, while exploring the world. Smaller monsters give you nothing but health replenishing orbs, while bigger foes give you a type of currency that can be used to unlock new skills, like a stabbing sword attack or a shield. You can also collect parts to upgrade your blade, health, or stamina, all of which are handled in your little hideout. Certain abilities are also gained through exploring dungeons that can help with your progression like being able to break through walls or zap around platforms. Whether it was seeking out a new upgrade, fighting a dangerous looking foe, or exploring a ruin, I always felt compelled at my next mission. But I do have some complaints. Environments are fairly wide open in that you don't always know what you're supposed to do. It's not like you're playing Fallout and you're not going to be stumped too long, but I did find myself at a loss fairly often. Maybe it was just me being bad at the game though. On top of that, platforming can be a bit problematic when it comes to the camera angles. Sometimes ledges looked closer than they actually were, so I fell to my death quite a few times. Like Bioshock, your little character respawns at a weird chamber that sprouts from the ground, which, as you can guess, serve as checkpoints. While I love the idea of actually putting a narrative reason why you respawn, these points often led to retreading ground repeatedly during particularly difficult platforming sections. A loss of time being stumped at a puzzle, or dying several times over can put a damper on one's momentum. So yes, Hob can be frustrating at times, but none of these moments ever had me at wit's end. Playing it just felt right, and I never wanted it to end. The combat is simple, yet satisfying. The upgrades give incentive to exploring, and it's vibrantly charming. It may not be as epic as Breath of the Wild when it comes to action RPGs, but this journey is one worth taking. Did you know that was a Reaction Examiner video? If you liked it, you should subscribe to me to keep up with everything that I'm doing. Also, if you have some other interests, like sex for example, check out To Mops, which is a comedy sex podcast thing wherein my best friend and I check out the weird and abnormal and the erotic. And of course you should support me on Patreon because hey, I want to make the channel better and I want your help to do so. Plus, if you want to check out my writing, check out Game Jerk, where I have archives and new stuff for all projects, okay? You can find all the stuff and more in the description with the links below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.